My name is Catherine Nduque. My name is Bilal Hollings. My name is Amari Torrance. I was in the class of 2020 um, for the Midnight Golf Program. I started in the fall of 2019 and graduated in the spring of 2020. I found out about the Midnight Golf Program actually through practice. I remember all of the seniors scrambling, preparing for the interviews. They were all scrambling. I'm like, what is the Midnight Golf Program? What is it about? Originally, I found out about Midnight Golf from one of my cousins. So luckily, by the grace of God, um, the Midnight Golf Program, the college success coaches actually came to present at my my school one day, um, all the way to uh, Summit Academy. If you don't know about the program, you are paired with a mentor. Uh, my mentor is Kelvin Green, but you also are interviewed um, by a mentor. Uh, my mentor, <laughs> I just smile when I think about him as uh, Jim Bria. This program is definitely a life-changing program, especially if you were like me and didn't have any mentors prior to that. Um, once we found out that we were in the program, we um, started to meet up and uh, learn about the game of golf, which um, of course that plays in the role of uh, the Midnight Golf Program because they start their foundation by learning everything through the game of golf. The Midnight Golf Program offers more than just mentorship. They offer scholarship opportunities, they offer love, they offer support. There's not a moment that they don't ask us how we're doing emotionally, mentally, physically. And that's something that you can't find everywhere, for some people anywhere. They have helped me uh, learn how to write better emails, uh, more professional emails, have uh, outstanding resumes um, of some sort, uh, dinner etiquette, um, all, uh, a lot of things along those lines to help me, you know, just excel in the professional world. The culminating point of the program is you actually get to go on a college readiness road trip for success. The location changes by the year. My trip was a down south trip I can never forget. Um, a golf Miramichi, um, which is just a Timberlake's golf course. Um, I sat at the culminating point of a, um, of a restaurant and just looked over the top of the view. The Midnight Golf Program allowed me to see the campus that I am now attending, which is Alabama A&M University. And I was able to meet the coach I don't know if I would have been able to do that without Midnight Golf. Um, I was able to tour the campus, not only just Alabama A&M, but other HBCUs, the state of Tennessee, the state of Kentucky. And we also visited, not at HBCU, but we also visited Louisville, just to give us that, that range of schools that we could potentially want to attend because not everybody wants to go to HBCU and that trip opened a lot of our eyes. Nevertheless, we were also able, of course, to go golfing at two different, well, three different courses. One of my biggest struggles that I've had uh, when it comes to my life, um, I really didn't know where I wanted to go to college because financials was a big issue to me. Um, I didn't want to make the wrong choice and then end up being financially in debt and having a financial burden for myself. There was a time where I was in the Midnight Golf Program, I think it was either December or January. It was during the winter and um, I didn't have too much support at home as far as me going to college outside of the state. And there were mentors like Mr. Coffey and um, Mrs. John that they were constantly supporting me um, and helping me search for schools outside of the state. They were also helping me um, with my FAFSA, um, doing answering all the questions that I had about that. And that's just something I couldn't find at home. So for me to go into this program every Tuesday and Thursday, I had something to look forward to. I ended up losing my mother my 11th grade year. Um, because of this, it was tragic. So I came up with the idea to throw a party to raise funds. I was on this road trip um, when coming home, the night I returned from the road trip for success, um, I went to a party that was created for me to be successful in college, raise some extra money to be able to just go to college and just start fresh. Um, at this party, um, some uninvited guests from Detroit Eastside came and a fight um, began. I'm deciding to break up the fight. 
um, shots were fired, and um, a shotgun was fired into the air. It hit a house, ricocheted, it hit me, shattered my skull, and tore just a slight part of my brain. Even though I don't remember the incident itself, um, I definitely remember the recovery. Dr. Arya Savitt, I remember him saying, talking to another doctor and said, well, um, how's the recovery? Um, is he moving? He said, no, um, the bullet hit his um, right frontal lobe. He probably won't ever talk again. And he said, well, hey, is he responsive in the movement? He said, no, um, it actually hit part of his um, cerebral cortex. He probably won't ever walk again either. Um, after hearing those words, um, I just remember um, just kind of sinking into my bed and I was devastated. Midnight Golf honestly has been everything to me. So the person that interviewed me uh, actually became like a father to me. Um, it means a little bit more because this man don't look like me. <laughs> um, but he, um, he loved on me, accepted me. Um, this man actually paid for my first year of college, uh, out of pocket actually. Gave me a chance to just start over, um, get out of Detroit and um, have a chance at college. At Midnight Golf they say career, college, beyond. So he was able to plant that first seed and get me into college. It means everything to me. There was this one conversation that I remember having with Mr. Coffey and um, he had put me in contact with someone that goes to Morehouse College and now I don't have to worry about my first year of college when it comes to financials. Ms. Renee is such a great mentor, is still my mentor. Um, she treats me like one of her own. That honestly would just be an understatement. I can't describe how much Ms. Renee and the whole team has done for me. And so all these connections that can be made might not be in your age group. They, they could be above your age group and that's okay. You know, that's just how we aspire and get to our actual goals. Um, Midnight Golf started off as just a small after school program on a Monday and Friday. Um, right now, it's now Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, it was uh, created to encompass inner city Detroit. But um, if you know Ms. Renee, God had two bigger plans for her. Um, it's now expanded much farther than the um, Detroit public school systems. And it's just not on Monday and Wednesday now, as I stated. So um, I just love and I tell her this today. Uh, this is just an inside joke. She said, oh, I'm done after I have my first grandbaby. <laughs> and that grandbaby is here. Um, shout out my mentor, uh, Mr. Malone. Um, and she's still going. Um, so just to see the support. None of this is done without Ms. Renee. And most importantly, none of this is done without donations. So everybody that has ever donated, um, thank you. Um, this story and more stories like mine cannot be done uh, without your support. So thank you to all the donors. Um, this cannot be done without you. And thank you, Ms. Renee. Thank you, Midnight Go.